Whoa. 2020. Welcome to the first video of 2020, everyone. Bruh. Wow. You know what? <laughs> this calls for a cough drop. <laughs> Actually, I can't. I can't do this. I'll get you later. First video of 2020, and it's a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Put it out there. Put it out there. So for today's video, we are going to be ranking notable memes of the last 10 years. This is obviously gonna be subjective because it's gonna be the memes that I think they're funny. So get over it. I basically have collected a group of notable memes that I have loved the past 10 years since we are entering a new decade. I just wanna say there are a lot of great memes out there. There's a lot of really terrible memes out there and I've got them all. I guess without any further ado, we'll just jump right into it. We got a lot to cover. I have a lot of memes. I have a, I made a whole Google Doc and I haven't used Google Docs since school. I have the tiers and I'm gonna go ahead and list them off for you. This is obviously from best to worst. So I'm using this website called Tier Maker and you basically just, you know, can make a, you know, just, you just make a, you just, just follow along, all right? Just shut the fuck up. For the first tier, the best of the best, is Elite. The best of the best, something that made me laugh so hard, I still think about it to this day, no matter how long ago it was. And this is the last 10 years. So, the second tier down from that is Iconic. Iconic and Elite, they're just not the same. You can know of an Iconic meme, but it, it won't be Elite. And then third down from that, it is Parched, but still got spit in my mouth, which means like, it's kind of funny. Like, oh my God, like that's funny. Like if someone's like, here, look at this meme. I'm like, that's funny. Haha. <laughs> yes, that's parched, but still got spit in my mouth. You know, when you could drink water, but you still got like spit circulating like through your mouth. <sighs> live with it for a little bit like you don't have to have water immediately the fourth down from the top is dry that is a dry meme that means that not the funniest but i can see how people would like it then fifth down from that is stale as shit meaning like this was maybe once funny it had like maybe 15 minutes of fame but now why are you bringing it up it's stale it's dr it's stale as fuck then the second to last tier is Saltines, Saltines with, with no, no water. water. Legitimately a terrible meme. The very last tier, the worst of the worst, Alex from Target. The tier Alex from Target is, mm. I have no idea why this is happening. This is so unfair. Uh, my eyes are burning from having to look at it. It is uh, disrespectful. It's probably racist. So that is the Alex from Target tier because nothing screams white America quite like glorifying a white teenager for having a part-time job. So, as you can see, we have the tears. So the first meme that we are gonna talk about is, I think it was like the first meme that I ever like realized, oh, that's a meme. And it was the bed intruder. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they raping everybody out here. Basically, this man was being interviewed for the news and he was saying how this rapist was like trying to rape his sister, which, oh my God, like is so awful. And it was turned into a meme. There's a rapist in Lincoln Park. Hide your kids and hide your wives because there's a, there's a rapist. And everyone was like, <laughs> Everyone thought it was funny. I just think it was really fucked up because he was really just trying to protect his sister. And on top of that, they literally made it into an iTunes song that's like, But I do have to say the silver lining in all of this was I heard that the profits that he made from the iTunes song sales went to him and his family getting out of the project, so. Yeah! This is weird because I want to say it was iconic because it was, but I don't want people to think that I am glorifying a man being afraid of his sister being raped. <laughs> so I think we're gonna do parched but still got spit in my mouth only because it was a tricky situation. Okay, next one. It's gonna be pants on the ground, obviously. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. This man auditioned for American Idol. It was actually in Atlanta. And he basically was like singing, pants on the ground. Yes, and I found out recently this man is deceased. So um, rest in peace to pants on the man ground. This was so iconic in every way. So I'm going to put that as, I'm gonna move him up to iconic. So the forever alone memes. Oh wow, I was so obsessed with the forever alone memes. I truly was like, forever alone. 
I would send this meme out constantly. I'm gonna say the Forever Alone memes are stale as shit. One of the last notable memes that I put for 2010 was Doge. It's this Shiba Inu, I think that's how you say it, it's a dog, and he's like, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. Basically, this dog made this face and like this photo went viral, making the dog have like an interior monologue. So, I'm gonna say saltines with no water because I'm dry. Moving on to around the 2011 time. First world problems. You've probably seen the crying woman like this. Um, they not funny, they stupid. And like the top says like, gets new job. And the bottom is like, has to go to work or some shit, I don't know. I'm gonna say like, <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to say my teenage self didn't laugh at these, but yes, yeah, she did. But I'm just gonna say dry because they're just like, ugh, you know, like, ugh, like dry, you know? So the next meme is planking. So if you don't know, it's a photo fad that involved you lying down in like a plank where you're like, and you take photos of yourself in very unusual public spaces. One day my friend and I went to the mall and we met, we went to the mall to plank on every surface ever and took a hundred photos. Okay, so planking was saltines with no water. That shit was so nasty. It was disgusting that I took part in it. You know what? I'm gonna move that. I'm gonna move it from saltines with no crackers to Alex, Alex Target. Target. <laughs> I'm allergic to the racism. So the next meme in 2011 was Rebecca Black's Friday. Now, I have a story about Rebecca Black. Rebecca Black knew me in 2011 again. So as you guys know, I've been doing YouTube for like a little over a decade now. In 2011, I was like really into it and like really growing uh, like an audience. At the time I was friends with Ricky Dillon, not to name drop or whatever. When Rebecca's Friday came out, she actually was like an avid YouTube watcher. No one really like knew her until she like blew up, but she had been watching YouTube and, and her and Ricky became friends. And then Ricky told me that she watched my videos. So, <sighs> Miss Friday, Friday, gonna go down. The thing about Friday was, it could have been any of us. It could have been me. Like, we were all the same age. Like, I was basically doing what Rebecca was doing, but I was just doing it in the format of YouTube videos. Like, she was just singing a damn song, and people were so mean to her. Honestly, if I had the opportunity, I would have done that, and then I would have been Rebecca Black. Imagine me being Rebecca Black. Right? Like, I don't want to sit here and tell you I like the song, because the song was ass and we all know that so i'm gonna say parched but still got spit in my mouth because i gotta give it to rebecca for like really coming through and shining like she has like her own youtube now and doing her own damn thing nyan cat it was basically like this edit of a cat with a rainbow coming out of the top going <laughs> but my little preteen self loved that shit it was stale as shit so the next one is crying michael jordan which is probably one of my favorite memes of the last decade he made a speech during the basketball hall of fame induction and he started crying <laughs> you know talking about his career getting really emotional as one should and then people took that shit ran with that bitch but I'm gonna say it's iconic because I fucking love it. We're going on to 2013 now. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the Harlem Shake, which can go f itself. Basically, it was the song by this like dubstep artist. Everyone's like standing there, right? And they're just like, they're just like being normal. And the time we're going, so go, ba, ba, banana, ba, ba, banana, ba. And then all of a sudden we go, now do the Harlem Shake. And then when the beat dropped, everyone like, the, it would cut and then, Everyone would like get up on the uh, get up on their chairs and just go do 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 like it was the worst thing to ever compromise the world. Schools did it like my school. I remember my high school at the time like did all this like Harlem Shake like the drama club like the teachers. Oh! The Harlem Shake is gonna go in the Alex from Target tier. Next up is. Gavin. Basically, Gavin is this little boy who had this uncle named Nick, and Nick would showcase all of the funny things that Gavin would do, and he basically became like a household name. He's just a really cute boy with all these really crazy facial expressions. We love Gavin. We will protect him with everything. So Gavin is definitely going in the iconic, in the iconic tier. The next meme, well, wasn't really a meme. It was started out as a trend, but slowly turned into a meme because it was so stupid, stupid. was Draw My Life. But basically, Draw My Life was this YouTube trend that went around where people would literally get a whiteboard and a marker and put the camera in front of it. It basically talked about how a person has grown and changed throughout their life via sick figures and was the dumbest trend. Saltines with no damn water. But that's none of my business, basically. There's basically a photo circulating of Kermit the Frog sipping tea and oh my 
fucking god did this meme blow up and it's still so relevant today like people are people still use tea sipping tea spilling tea and i think it all originated from kermit the frog sipping some damn lipton so i think we're gonna put that as iconic because it's still so widely known I think I'm gonna put it as iconic only because everyone knows about Kermit the Frog sipping tea. Like even people who aren't even into memes or like know anything about internet culture, they know about, they know about Kermit. Next one is Alex from Target. I think Alex from Target was probably the worst thing to ever come about the internet. I'm sorry, I'm just so Basically, these girls were at Target and they were checking out and this very cute cashier boy was there checking them out and they took a photo of him and they put it like on some social media website and they were like, look, it's this cute boy and it went f***ing viral. He, this man was on Ellen, he gained millions of followers for working, for working at, Target. at Target. Alex from Target, you're done. The next one is Iggy Azalea freestyling on the radio. Cause the whole world is watching and the paparazzi is flocking and we flash it when we drop in and we shut down your part Tim and his end. This shit literally had me dead. It's still so funny to me. And the whole world is watching and the paparazzi be flocking and we walk in and we jump in and we dump in and we flump in. I think this is gonna go in the elite category. When I am falling asleep at night, I'm like this, ready? Cause the whole, the whole world, world is watching, watching and the paparazzi, and the paparazzi is flocking flock and, and we flash it when we drop. She went hard. Next one is the LeBron James boy. LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> To me, that is fucking iconic. Don't care what anyone says. That is going in the elite category. We have Pizza Rat, which was obviously so iconic. I have to say, a hero won. Couldn't stop thinking about it for fucking weeks. And he's gonna go in the iconic. And so next is SpongeGar, which is basically a reaction meme of, of SpongeBob SquarePants. He's looking like a caveman. It's basically a reaction meme for if you're confused or taken, taken off guard or taken by surprise. I've used this many a times, but I'm gonna say it's pretty dry. Next one. And now, back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? <laughs> she basically said some shit about Nicki Minaj in the press. At the time, she was hosting the Video Music Awards or some shit, and Nicki Minaj was accepting an award, and she goes, back to the bitch that has something to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? <laughs> I'm putting that bitch in a leak. Next up is Harambe. Harambe was this like really old silverback gorilla who was a resident of the Cincinnati Zoo. And this little boy, dumbass bitch, like who? Basically, he crawled his way into the gorilla enclosure. And this gorilla, <laughs> it's not funny, but it was so funny. The gorilla starts dragging the kid. <laughs> He starts dragging the kid through the mud, just like swinging him around like a damn, like a damn, like a, like a dish towel, like just So the people at the Cincinnati Zoo had to kill him in order to get the child out safely, which in my humble opinion, there wasn't some type of like, like, you know, got him with just to make him like pass out so you could get the child, like you had to go straight for death. Harambe was iconic. Harambe was very iconic. Rest in peace, man. I hope you're up there um, sl slinging kids around. <laughs> Next up is Cash Me Outside. Our lovely Daniela Bergoli, Bad Baby, Bad Barbie, whatever the fuck. Not gonna lie, her songs are good. Oh, Gucci flip flops, fuck it, hit your bitch in my sock. Like, I love that song. I think I'll put that bitch in the Alex from Target category. Boom, wow. And the cursed emojis, where they're basically regular emojis turned into like these really stressed out emojis, and they are so good. And I'm gonna put those down as mother an elite bitch. The next one is TikTok girl singing their Starbucks order. Can I get a guava white tea lemonade with light ice and a tall ice coffee with just one pump of pumpkin spice? Can I also get an extra cup of nothing but ice? Oh my god. <laughs> I would like some some coffee with some no ice. Then I can I get a frappuccino with light ice. Thank you. Have a good day. I am really am so nice. Like it was. <laughs> 
And I think that's gonna go in elite memes because that was the elite meme, one of the elite memes on TikTok this year. So I actually missed one from earlier, but troll memes. So troll memes were something that happened like way early in the decade, like almost maybe like 2009, 2010. Basically troll face was used by like gamers and is meant to represent the facial expression of an internet troll. Troll, I'm gonna have to say, Alex from fucking Target. One of the latest ones that went so viral, so good was, and I, oh, and I, oh. One of the more iconic memes of this generation, mocking SpongeBob. Basically SpongeBob's like, like, I don't know how to do it. Just. It's basically a reaction meme in response to mocking someone. I'm gonna say this one was stale as shit to me. I'm also gonna do the confused Mr. Crab face where he's like. I used it a lot, I won't lie. I'm gonna say that one was like dry. All right, so now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my favorite reaction memes and I'm going to rank them as well because I have so many. I have so many. And then at the end, I'm gonna tell you my favorite meme of the whole decade. All right, let's do it. The first one is I, I'm a head out. It's a SpongeBob one where he's like getting up out of his chair. But branching off of that, there's one that says, I am a trans and I really love that one. The next one is yet another SpongeBob one where he's screaming at Squidward. Another reaction meme I use a lot is big mistake. And it's literally a lady steak. <laughs> That bitch is elite for the finale. I'm about to tell you guys my favorite memes of all time. And there's two of them because I can't decide. There's this girl on Instagram who would post fo photos and people would take her photos and put like the Snapchat using the caption as if she were British. It'd be like, that don't make no sense, love. But the funny part is this bitch was not British. That meme is one of the most elite memes. The second most best meme in the whole world is Farted. No wait. Ah, oh, shit it. <laughs> it's this photo of the motherfucking Pink Panther, right? Is it the Pink Panther? And there you fucking have it, folks. The most notable memes of the last decade all ranked. I know there's so many out there that I missed and I'm so sorry I couldn't use them all. I'm going to put the link to this tier in the description. Cheers to good ass content in 2020, bitch. Let's get it, bitch! Peace!